six massive, massive dance halls that can hold thousands of people. They were all still here when I moved here. I thought, I can't wait to get older. I can't wait to be a part of this. And then when I got older, it all closed down, it all fell to the ground, and there's absolutely nothing left apart from the beach. Jaywick is usually the place the media use to talk about deprivation and neglect in Britain. Whilst it is no secret that these issues exist here, one thing that remains largely unspoken of is the community spirit that lives within Jaywick. This is a story of Jaywick, told mainly by the people instead of the statistics. I'm Andy White. I've, um, I grew up in Clacton, but my grandparents lived in Jaywick. Um, so I spent all my summers and school holidays down here. I uh, moved down here a few years ago to help out Dan Casey, who's the local councillor. Uh, after we both left the Labour Party and yeah, I've pretty much managed to get myself on every community group going and start up a few of my own. My name's Caroline and my relationship to JWIC goes back to 2011, 2012. I'm Michelle Cooper and I live in JWIC. My name is Danny Sluggett and I am a builder who lives in JWIC. I have been building in JWIC since I left school, which was 27 years ago. Well, it was much better off when I first got here than it is today. When I got here in 1986, lots of the relics from the old holiday era were still here. Butlins was just closing. All of the main dance halls, all of the main dance halls in Jaywick were still here. The Londoners, the Morocco Club, the Tivoli, the Sunspot, the Mermaid, the Londoners Club. There were six massive, massive dance halls that can hold thousands of people. They were all still here when I moved here. I thought, I can't wait to get older. I can't wait to be a part of this. And then when I got older, it all closed down, it all fell to the ground, and there's absolutely nothing left apart from the beach. Just, it's... Most of it down here is about getting things done. You've got good people, you've got good community spirit. Um, what you haven't got is things like pavements. Where, where else in Tendering do kids walk to school in the road? In 2019, the Ministry of Housing updated its list of deprived neighbourhoods in the UK. Jaywick was the only featured area south of Liverpool, but this does not stop the community from chipping in. Well, firstly, in Jaywick, you've got to separate Jaywick in half, basically. So you've got the Tudor estate, which is very nice, very affluent, and largely over 65s. And then you've got Brooklands, which is the much more run-down, much more neglected area. Um, but both of them have a lot of stuff in common. Namely, they don't have great access to public transport. There is no supermarkets nearby. Um, yeah, Brooklyn's is much more affected by that, but everybody's used to this stuff. So when this virus thing happened and suddenly nobody can get into supermarkets, well, down here we didn't notice because we can get into supermarkets anyway. You know, we've, we've got networks of people who will go out and help people with shopping. That just gets increased a little bit. You know, there's, I think there's now about 10 or 12 people throughout Jaywick that are just spending half their time hitting supermarkets for all the OAPs who are self-isolating or the huge number of people suffering with COPD down here who are locked away. And yeah, our I think the attitude here is always just carry on as normal. This you know, this virus is just another thing that's come along to try and screw us. We're we're used to tendering district council doing that on a daily basis. One of the people heavily affected in a current climate is Michelle. She has many medical conditions. Um, just basically, the, I had a stroke last year, um, heart attack as well. <laughs> and I, I had a few health issues. I found out that I've got a heart, hole in my heart um, and that I need an operation, but they can't do it not because of the hospitals at the moment, because everyone is overrun with the bloody virus. So, and also I need a knee operation. <laughs> so my body's falling apart on me. Um, and trying to just be normal and stay in every single day and 
you know, do what the government suggests is it's hard. I, I mean, I don't get to hold my kids. Um, and like I said, I may never get to hold my kids again. 62% of working age JWIC residents claim some form of benefit according to the Guardian study in 2011. However, this does not stop people and organisations chipping in to help. One of these organisations are called the JWIC Sands Revival Community Interest Company or JCRCIC for short. JWIC Sands Revival Community Interest Company um, has been going for about two years now. Um, we do a lot, it, obviously, it's, it, what's in the name is Revival Company, so we help the community in lots of things, uh, benefits, um, housing, um, any problems they have with their landlords. Um, we do a lot of programmes like um, the uniform programme, so the schools, four schools are involved and they give us, at the end of their um, summer term, all their lost property, we iron it. We wash it, iron it, and it goes back out to the community for free. So hopefully every child from Jaywick can go back to school um, dressed appropriately. Uh, we do a lot of coffee mornings and craft mornings. I do a lot with um, this DLA to PIP because we find a lot of people are losing benefits like that. Uh, we try to get them rehoused in better homes if their homes are not up to standard. If not, we deal with their landlords ourselves. Um, there's a number of things. We, we run a Christmas grotto for free for the children every year. Uh, every child gets a present um, and we do that by getting donations all the way through the year of toys and etc. Um, we do a Valentine dance every year which we, we do for free for the um, community which go to down a storm. They love that. Anything we can do, clothes banks, baby banks, food banks, anything like that, we, we do that. On top of the help of various organisations, JWIC residents are the biggest champions of JWIC. It may be a shit at the moment, but it can be good. It can be good. People in the community around here have been brilliant. I can get deliveries to my door if I wanted deliveries, um, but I don't really want to be a burden on people and say, so well, I said to my mum, get deliveries. Um, so, yeah, I mean, people are genuinely just really good. I absolutely adored my neighbours. There was an incredible mix of people. I soon found out that many of the issues, because I'm something of a, a people watcher, so I usually see people for what they are as people, not as images. And I loved my neighbours. The first thing I uh, perceived was that most of them had problems. The huge majority had started life as regular people, just like anybody else. Or they came from families which had problems, not necessarily underprivileged families. There were young people there that I thought had perhaps got into trouble, uh, perhaps were rebellious. I basically love Jaywick and I lived here since I was 11 years old and I had a bit of a mad childhood because my mum passed away when I was 14 and I was very like alone and Jaywick was not really a place for children when I first moved here. There wasn't many children in Jaywick and it was kind of, uh, I didn't really know any children in Jaywick. So I basically had lots of friends that were in their 70s or 80s and I had lots of knowledge of how to live in Jaywick. You know, the community will club together and find ways around it. You, you be very hard pushed to find another community in the country where so many people are doing things for other people. Local resident Danny Sloggett set up the Happy Club in 2015 to give Jaywick residents a voice and a space where they can socialise together. Yes, basically I was working with Channel 5 filming Benefits by the Sea Britain, uh, Jaywick, and 
they were asking me for ideas what I would like to film. And I said to them I would like to film the Joe It Sounds Happy Club. Uh, it's a club for adults, like a youth club. And I'd like to have meetings about things that are concerning people. So halfway through the Happy Club, we'll just call a proper meeting and we'll invite the council along and people of Jobit can have their opinions about things that are concerning them, i.e. the roads, the uh, pavements, the street lighting, anything that concern people of Jobit. I would ask the council to answer their questions as the people of Jobit said it. So that's really good. A lot of the people I've had come to the Happy Club are not welcome in any other club. They, they suffer with drug, drink problems, some of them. They suffer with bereavement. They suffer with alcohol, alcoholism. Whatever they suffer with, I do not judge them. I give them cups of tea, I give them cups of coffee. We play games together. And then we have a proper meeting, which I involve them in. And if they're quiet, I specifically go to them and say, excuse me, what, what do you think needs to be done to make Jowick better? What do you think needs to be done to improve it around here? And so on and so on. And I have been doing that now for over four years on a monthly basis. And I write everything in my book, and that is a great read. And also, daily, people message me, can I help them, can I do this, can I do that? And I do as much as I, I, do as much as I can, Tom. In spite of the testing circumstances they face currently, Jaywick residents look forward to the future. I think we should build a Disneyland and bring the holiday back to Jaywick. I mean, it was built as a holiday village. I think go back to your roots and that, if I had the money, I'd invest it in Jaywick and that is what I would do. I'd bring the holiday back to Jaywick. And then I always say the Costa del Jaywick, through my plans and my dreams, if I had the money, Tom, they would be reality. I think we'd like to see a, a widespread redevelopment of, of Brooklyn's especially that was in keeping with the area. So you would have a, a more modern version of a Brooklyn's bungalow. Um, we'd like to see the roads adopted. We'd like to see um, we'd like to see the same amount of care and attention to the area that that other places in Clacton get. Yeah, all, all we can do is um, keep plugging away and hope that we get a few wins along the way.